If I leave these here, I'll remember to take them. Yeah. Has anyone seen my sunglasses? You guys, seriously, I'm gonna be late. Do you know where my sunglasses are? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Where are they? Okay, who put my sunglasses in here? Clutter is bad for all of us, and people with ADHD and focus problems can also have some really unique clutter challenges. Now, I'm a nurse, entrepreneur, and life and focus coach, and I used to come home exhausted from the emergency room just to manage my clutter, and it was awful. Now, in our house, it's full of people with ADHD. My husband, two and a half of my kids, don't ask. And since we got our clutter under control and made some great changes, it has been absolutely beautiful. Now, before you can make a change, it's helpful to have some information. So why is clutter a problem for you? Do you spend a lot of time wasted looking for things? Has anyone seen my keys, jacket, book? my other shoe, or maybe you have procrastinated. Procrastinating is when you know you should be working, but you end up tidying and cleaning in order to procrastinate doing the actual job you need to do. If there is less stuff to clean, you are less likely to procrastinate. Sometimes you have to clean before you even can work because things are just so messy. Or is it reasonably bothering your family? They're not exactly expecting perfection, but they are finding it a little bothersome and hard to function as well. Another thing is nuts. Nuts are screaming at you. Nuts are nagging unfinished tasks. And they actually stress us out a lot and they can make us feel really bad. Those are the things that are just sitting there that you haven't gotten to and they just are looking at you saying, deal with me. Dealing with all of the clutter and all of the other things to do with it, not only is it inefficient, but it's also exhausting and it can kind of make you feel like a fudged up in the end, which is never good. Now, if this is sounding familiar, but maybe you're like, no, not really. Then I have a new quiz all about discovering your clutter style with steps for how you can overcome it with your unique plan. So click the link below to take that quiz and then you are on your way to a decluttered home. So after all of that, you're probably like, well, what can I even do about it? Well, here is how to manage clutter for the ADHD or the average person. Number one, use baskets to capture things that need to go home. This basket I love, I use it for things that need to leave the house, like these earplugs that don't fit and hurt my ears. And I'm going to be selling these. So I've got them in there because they're listed on Facebook Marketplace. I love my basket. It keeps those things nice and tidy and out of the way. Now baskets can be tricky because they can be clutter catchers. So just be very mindful that you are putting something in there so they can go to the place where they belong. Leave only the very important things out for visual reminders. Otherwise they can get swamped by other things and you won't even be reminded by them anyway. Like medication, for example. Have more garbage cans than you think you need. You will be surprised at how much tidier your house is if you are not having little piles of trash everywhere to pick up and put places. It's also very helpful to have a paper shredder in your house. Spend 15 minutes tidying up at the end of the day. We do this. When we do this, it's very helpful. I can't say we always do it, but when we do, it's absolutely incredible. Our house stays way tidier because everyone reluctantly is putting things away. Another thing you could do is have a junk drawer in every room. Junk drawers are wonderful because they are the place where things that don't actually have a category or a home can actually live and keep things where you use them so that they land in or at least near their home. The other thing I love is the touch at once system. Now it's so tempting for me in particular, just to move things near where they go. Like I will put things near the garage instead of just taking them out there. And then if I put them out there, I put them out there and then I don't put them where they go. But if we only handle it once, we don't have to think about it again, which is so much easier on the brain and the house. Now decluttering your house and getting rid of the extra stuff that you have to manage, but maybe don't use is one of the best ways to keep clutter down. Now, this video here will show you how to declutter those things that you don't need and that aren't serving you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!